after discovering the sunflower that was just covered with caterpillars I thought I should do a walk by on the rest of them just to see if any others were having the same problem and I came to this one and you might think well that's not any big deal you know there's a couple of caterpillars one down there one over there but if you look at this it almost looks like it's becoming transparent that's because the underside of the leaf has a big problem and this leaf is even worse but there's a real simple thing you can do if you catch them this early and I'll show you what that is what you can do is you can take a large bowl or a small bucket and just put a few drops of dish soap it doesn't take a whole lot and just add water Just want to stir it up and make make sure there's some suds going on and once you get a little suds mixed up there and get that so soap distributed through the water it'll take care of them fairly quickly when you can catch them early like this it's pretty easy stuff you just remove the leaf they're eating and drop them in the leaf in the soapy water just make sure they get submerged here's another the worst one and then if there's any individuals that escape just drop those in with the rest of them here's a look at a leaf this is probably the first leaf they started working on and you can tell it's just been skeletonized but I'll just give this uh, sunflower a thorough look over here's one here one up here that's all there is to it they won't last very long at all in there and I, I use the same technique you can like uh, flea, not flea beetles but uh, blister beetles of course you want to wear gloves if you pick those off it's easier just to knock them off in the soapy water but blister beetles or any small insect like squash bugs anything like that just a real simple trick doesn't take very long and works really well and you don't have to spray poison on your garden since I already had the soapy water out so we're here looking at the squash plant and look at all those little squash bugs that just hatched out there's a whole bunch of eggs so I'll have more that hatch out if I don't do anything so I'm going to take care of these while I have that soapy water out there they are I'm just going to drop them in there with those caterpillars that we got earlier and that'll take care of them then if I find any more leaves leaves with eggs I'll just tear those eggs off and drop them down in the water with the insects and other eggs that we just dropped in there here's some more eggs I found I just usually tear off part of the leaf that way you don't have to take off the whole leaf just remove the eggs drop them in the water pretty quick stuff for insects I usually use mostly pyrethrin 
BT and neem oil. But this is another thing you can use and, and stay organic. But keeping up with the insects take, takes a daily inspection and it's better to find things uh, before they get out of hand. It's a lot easier to deal with them. Well, just like the little squash bugs that I found. I, I was behind them looking for eggs. They had long enough to hatch. So I'm not doing a good enough job myself. But when you have uh, like an area of pumpkins like this, it can take a lot of work trying to examine all of those leaves. Then you pile on squash and sunflowers and the rest of the garden. It takes a little while to go through everything. But I hope this has helped a few folks. Uh, it's just a simple thing you can do. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.